uh, I've started making the doublers that I'm going to put over that corroded area. This is one that I've completed and uh, I was going to show just a little bit of uh, how I make that one part right there. Uh, I'll do a few different shots of the processes I go through to make that part. With the tools I have, um, this is how I'm making this part. If you have different tools, you can probably make it a different way. Uh, the first thing I do is take the shears I have and I will cut out all the straight lines in the pattern uh, and I'll do the curved one with a jigsaw. Okay, I've made all my straight line cuts uh, with the shears. Um, I did the radius with the shears on the other part over there, but it's uh, somewhat difficult. So I think I'll do the radius on this one with a jigsaw. It's only 22 gauge and it cuts it pretty good. Just makes a lot of noise. So for the notches, um, I've drilled some holes in the corners of the notches. And then I take the jigsaw and uh, finish cutting out the notches. I'll demonstrate that. Okay, I've uh, gotten it cut out. I've made all the notches um, and uh, cut the radius on it with a jigsaw. Uh, I cleaned up all the edges with a grinder, so uh, all of that's completed. The only thing left now is to bend a, a flange on it up where I'm tying into some of the structure in the horse trailer. And uh, I will, I don't have a break uh, to bend those with, so I have to improvise with what I have and I will uh, put that together and show how I bend the flange on that part. Okay, um, I've uh, gotten this uh, into uh, a fixture that I've kind of uh, put together to bend the flange. What I've uh, done is taken a couple of uh, just metal extrusions and put one here and put one over here and clamped everything together and uh, I will take a hammer and a wood block and uh, work that down uh, to form a flange. It's uh, not as good as a break, but it, uh, it will get the job done. Okay, that's, uh, that's got it bent, and what I will do is uh, I'll take it out of those angles and uh, do a little bit more work with it with a hammer and a wood block and kind of straighten some of those dents out. 
but uh, that's the way I'm bending the flange because I don't have any other tools to bend it any other way. Okay, I've uh, cleaned everything up, uh, kind of uh, scuffed up this metal. Uh, I have these parts ready to, to uh, shoot uh, primer on and paint. And I'll also finish cleaning up the uh, uh, area in the trailer and uh, where these parts are going to go and get them primed. And, uh, and then I will shoot some more video on the installation of these two repair pieces.